in a rare bit of actually good news to report. Uh, new reports are coming in showing us that early voting in a lot of very tight states across the country among youth, 18 to 29, early voting has increased in some areas by more than 500%. And that's just among that millennial age group, 18 to 29, a group that mostly, I mean, pretty heavily actually leans democratic, but that's not all. Here are some of the specific numbers here in Texas. Youth voter turnout is currently up 508% in early voting and vote by mail, African-American and Hispanic, uh, which are also both traditionally democratic constituencies. Uh, those vote rates have more than doubled just in the state of Texas, uh, in Georgia, where we've seen all the voter suppression, very tight race between Democrat Stacey Abrams and Republican horrible human being Brian Kemp. Uh, early voting between 1928 is up 476%. African American early voting is up 107, uh, 165%. And Hispanic turnout in Georgia and early voting so far is up 571%. And those are just two of the states with the tightest races at the moment. In Georgia, Abrams v, uh, versus Kemp. In Texas, Beto O'Rourke versus Ted Cruz. These early voting numbers, this massive surge that absolutely dwarfs what happened in the 2014 midterms is a huge sign, a positive sign for the democratic party. Now these studies do say we don't know which way these people voted, but we do know that historically every single one of these groups leans heavily democratic. So Republicans are the ones at a disadvantage here when more people show up to vote. Hence the reason they're the ones responsible for 99% of the voter suppression taking place in the United States today, especially in places like Georgia and Texas, because they don't want them to show up because they know if they don't show up, it's going to be an easy victory for Republicans. If they do come out and vote, well, going to be tougher for Republicans to win those areas, but it's not just Texas and Georgia, Pennsylvania, Nevada, Florida, and Arizona, all states with very close races between Republicans and Democrats, very consequential races too. Uh, down here in the state of Florida, the governor's race is huge between a Trump acolyte, Ron DeSantis and a progressive icon, Andrew Gillum. Right now, Gillum's up, I believe about six or seven points. We also have democratic Senator Bill Nelson against former uh, corrupt governor, Rick Scott. Nelson's up by about four or five points as well. These early voting numbers are huge. Even if, and I've said this before, but even if we do not get the results that we want out of this, hopefully it will have created lifelong voters out, out of these, you know, extra 500% that showed up to vote. Because if these people continue participating, if they do not get disillusioned and if they stay active and involved, it may not happen this cycle, but I can promise you we won't be too far off from a new era of actually good government.